in this video we will be studying Faraday's and Lange's law so what is Faraday law actually uh, Faraday law states the magnitude of EMF induced is equal or in some book it is written as directly proportional to the rate of change in flux okay so rate of change in flux is equal to the EMF induced okay rate of change in flux and that flux will be magnetic obviously and what does Lange's law has to say is the direction or polarity of EMF induced will be such that it will oppose the changes that created it okay this this line is quite important will oppose the changes it will oppose the changes okay the direction and polarity of EMF induced will oppose the changes so remember this term EMF induced will oppose the changes whatever the changes are there so emf induced uh, don't like changes even though it is uh, the outcome of those changes but it don't like changes so it always oppose the changes which created it or because of uh, those changes which it induced so that is emf induced is minus d pi by dt and flux is magnetic this negative so sign is lenz's law okay the polarity will be as if it tries to oppose the changes so let's start with the first question the magnetic flux changes with time as phi equal to minus t square plus 60 and the resistance of the loop is 2 ohm find emf induced as a function of time and current as a function of time obviously as we know the definition emf induced is minus d phi by dt so it will be just differentiate it and put an extra negative sign minus 2t plus 6 that will be 2t minus 6 at any time I can give you the value of induced EMF just plug the value of t here and you will get it okay for example induced EMF let's say at t equal to 5 so it will be 2 into 5 10 minus 6 4 volt okay so what about current as a function of time as we know the resistance of the loop emf induced divided by the resistance as there is no other power source or emf source so the total emf will be the induced emf so induced emf by resistance will give you the current so that will be uh, 2t minus 6 by 2 and that is t minus 3 okay so we can also say that current changes its direction at t equal to 3 initially it is uh, somewhat in negative direction and then it become in positive direction next question is a loop of area is placed in a uniform magnetic field and is rotated uh, about an axis perpendicular to v find phi as a function of t and emf induced as a function of t okay let us take an example let's say assume it to be a disc okay the loop can of any shape but we are assuming it to be a disc and this is the axis about which we are rotating it okay so the area vector is here and this is the magnetic field the initial angle i am assuming it to be zero okay so when it is rotated by an angle theta obviously initial angle theta initial as we are assuming it to be zero theta as a function of t will be omega t as it will rotate by an angle uh, omega t in time t so flux flux will be b into area into cos of omega t because the angle between b and a as a function of time will be omega t we can also write omega t plus phi naught if initial angle is phi naught so that is not the purpose so we have assumed initial angle to be zero just and the emf induced will be minus d phi by dt so we'll get minus b a differentiation of cos omega t will give you minus omega sin omega t so what we are getting here emf induced is b a omega sin omega t 
so that is an alternating emf we are getting that is the magnitude and that is the oscillatory function so if someone write emf induced max sin omega t so this is the maximum value of the emf induced which is b a omega magnetic field area of the loop and the frequency angular frequency or angular velocity of the loop okay so uh, most of the house uh, household supply is generated by this method we take a coil and rotate in in the presence of magnetic field so that's why we get uh, this type of alternating emf in our houses so that is the basic reason we get an alternating current or alternating emf because we generate it by the similar method we rotate a coil in the presence of magnetic field the method of rotation uh, and the energy used for rotation is different in different aspects like in hydropower we use water to rotate this coil in thermal power we uh, heat the water with the help of coal and then use steam in nuclear power we heat the water with the help of nuclear reactions and again we are all in all the purpose in all the cases we are rotating this coil that is the reason we get uh, a household supply like this which is an ac okay then from the given phi t graph draw emf induced as a function of time as we know that emf induced is minus d phi by dt so from graphical point of view i can say that is it is negative of slope of phi t graph okay d phi by dt is the slope and i did and negative sign is there so we can say that this is the negative of the slope of phi t graph so what we'll do we'll take out the slope from 0 to 2 see i'm writing slope and uh, I'm writing slope and range 0 to 2 the slope is plus 10 so EMF induced will be minus 10 from 2 to 4 slope is 0 so it will be 0 from 4 to 8 the slope is again it reduces to 20 it reduces by 20 in 2 so the slope is minus 10 okay the slope is how much it has reduced in how much interval so 20 reduction into second means 10 reduction one second so the emf induced will be plus 10 and it is increasing by you might think that i haven't given this value this given the value is need not to be given as this is a straight line this will be minus 20 okay you can uh, think about this so this value will automatically be minus 20 i need not to give this value then from 8 to 12 it rises by 20 as the value is minus 20 okay it rises by 20 units in 4 seconds so the slope is plus 5 and emf induced will be minus 5 so carefully plotting the graph plus 10 plus 10 will be here from 0 to 2 emf induced is constant and that is oh sorry i made a mistake it is minus 10 the slope is plus 10 so it is minus 10 from 2 to 4 the slope is 0 so emf induced will be 0 and from 4 to 8 emf induced is plus 10 from 8 to 12 emf induced is minus 5 so we can take uh, somewhere lower than minus 10 okay so this is the emf induced versus time okay 